Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. We often talk about sperm selection when giving you the options of treatment for infertility. In assisted reproductive technologies, there are a number of treatment options like ovulation induction with timed intercourse, IUI or intrauterine insemination, IVF in vitro fertilization or ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection. For all these procedures, there is a very important step called sperm preparation which is very very critical for the procedure to get successful. Now in ovulation induction with timed intercourse, it's very simple, there is no sperm processing, egg is grown and once it is released, we ask the couple to have intercourse around those time, those days so that there is a higher chance of success. But with intrauterine insemination, IVF and ICSI, there is a process of sperm preparation. What are the different types of sperm preparation is the topic for today. In IUI, the number of sperm has to be good. It has to be more than 10 million total motile sperm in the sample after processing. The motility has to be more than 40 to 50 percent and the morphology has to be definitely better than 4 percent. Now, if anything less than this, the chances of IUI being successful is a little low. So, patients are always encouraged to go for IUI only when they fall in this bracket. Now, when you come for an IUI procedure, the procedure for processing sperms or sperm preparation could be a double density gradient or a simple wash. These are technical terms, but what you need to understand is that good sperms are separated from the bad ones. What are the bad ones? Dead sperms, poor morphology sperms, zero motility ones, not just sperms, debris separated. If there are pus cells, the, those are separated and seminal plasma is also separated. Very, very clear drop of just sperms, motile good sperms are taken and put into the uterus for a better success rate with IUI. This is called as double density gradient or simple wash technique. The technique is not what I am uh, trying to explain. I am trying to explain that based on the quality of sperms, the embryologist or the andrology technician or your clinician decide what procedure will work out better for you. If the count is good, then double density gradient works out very well. If the count is low, a simple wash is done. If the DNA fragmentation is high, then a simple wash is better because the more we process the sperm, the more the DNA fragmentation might also increase. So, depending on the quality of sperms, we decide what procedure to go ahead when it comes to IUI. When it comes to IVF, it is a lot more advanced than IUI in terms of sperm selection. If the DNA fragmentation is high, we could do something called as a surgical extraction of sperms from the testis. It is called as TISA or micro TISA or PISA. All these procedures involve the extraction of sperms from the testis. Now, once the sperms are uh, taken out, these sperms are processed. If there are RBCs or debris, all those are separated. Only sperms are selected from the testicular sample and they are injected into the egg. If the sample has high DNA fragmentation, another process called MAX, magnetic activated cell sorting is performed or microfluidics is performed or the kind of sperm processing, sperm washing technique that we use is also different when the DNA fragmentation index is high. There are cases where the motility is very low. In such instances, pentoxifilin reagent is added and the processing is a little different. Once the sperms attain motility, sperm, motile sperms are selected and injected into the egg. So there are a lot of technical aspects to be considered when we try to decide what method to implement for which kind of a sample. Based on the sample number, motility, morphology, the DNA fragmentation index, whether sperms are present or not in the sample, all these criteria are very critical for us to decide what procedures to take. If you want to understand more about this, if you have been uh, suggested TISA or there are no sperms in your sample, you want to understand what treatment options to opt for, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.